Chris Richter here, back again with another part of the series on H5P. I'm from ricochet.com.au and hopefully we can help you out with some of your Moodle LMS, but in, more importantly, this one is the H5P specifically, H5P plugin, and we're looking at the documentation tool. So let's go and check out the documentation tool first, and then we'll go and create our own. I've gone to H5P to have a look at the documentation tool, and this is basically it. It's a structured writing process is really what they're, what they're aiming for here. So it allows students to type in responses and answers, and that type of thing, and then export them at the end all in one go. So what does that look like in terms of the activity itself? Quite simple, left-hand menu with a whole heap of buttons or just a, a straight vertical menu. Right hand side is all the panel that you can go to, all the panels you can go to that have the content in them. So in this case we have start by putting in some information. So we'll put some information in here. It's asking for a start date. We'll put a start date and your name goes in there. We can go next with the arrow or we can use the left hand side and choose your goals. Uh, choose the next item which is add your goals. So here we're going to add goals and we'll call this goal one and another one just so we can see what this looks like in the end goal two and goal three we're then going to jump to our plans or you did notice there that you can delete any of those as well go to our plan what we'll put some writing in there how and why then we go to our project work and we put in a heap of writing for our project work evaluation they want some more information on evaluation Goals and assessments, it's asking what our rating is. So we can choose our rating for goal one. Notice it's used our goals from back here. Goal one, goal two, goal three. Let's just choose one of each. And then when we get to the final done, we select create document. And it creates a document based on what we actually said. Achieved partially, did not achieve and achieved completed is based on those stars that we chose. So. Uh, that's it, and it's now a printable, exportable, save it, or submit if your system allows you to submit as well, depending on the LMS that you're using. That's the documentation tool. How do we create our own? Well, let's jump in. We're going to go straight into the Moodle LMS, go to the content bank. We're going to create a new documentation. So let's look at the documentation tool. There it is. And we're just going to type in here, documentation example now it basically looks like or uses the left hand menu process as the elements so if you remember the left hand side it said there it showed us all of the um, the items in the menu this is the items in the menu on the left so we're going to choose standard page I'm going to leave the standard page titles and things where they are just to save us a bit of time but if we jump down to the elements for a standard page and I should show you the rest of the ones. We've got a goals page, a goals assessment page, and then a documents export page. So there's not too much in there, but in a standard page, we have the choices of text input, text input field editor element, an image, and an accordion. Not a lot. Let's jump into the text one first. We'll just call this text one as the name of it. We can add a second element, which we'll call text as well. And this one will be text two. If we go a bit further down and we choose uh, and add a new one, we choose the text input field and we'll call this one input one and input one placeholder, just so we know what that is. We're not going to worry about the number of lines or the length or anything like that at the moment, but you can experiment with that as you have a go. So that's that one and we'll keep going. And then we'll have a look back at what we did with each of those and what they actually look like. So remember, we've put in a text field, another text, and then a text field editor element. If we add another one, we've got image. Image allows us to choose an image, so I'll add an image. Another element, and this is an accordion. Inside the accordion, we can then choose what the content is that goes in that accordion. We'll call this accordion one. Content one, add another panel, accordion two, content two, that will be enough. 
Okay, let's save that and have a look at what that looks like so far, because this is sort of our first part of our panel. So what you can see is we've got an untitled, because we haven't given it a name, we just left it as default. We've got one lot of text, another lot of text, then an input area with somewhere for them to type something in. Now, what would normally happen is you would have text, then an input field, then another text, then an input field, if you're putting text information in, in between the questions. So that's up to you. The image obviously just jumps straight to full screen and then the accordion looks like that. So that's our first uh, panel on the documentation tool. Let's jump back into edit because we're going to add another page. This page will be our goals page. So we can jump in and create a goals page. Now I'll leave everything the same as what it is, just so we don't have to change any of the settings because all this does is allow you to create a goals page. You don't actually put any information in there or don't need to put any info information in there other than change the description if you need that to describe a certain bit of information about the goals. So we can just leave that how it is, add another page, and this will be the goals assessment page. And again, there's not much that we have to do other than reword any of the wording that doesn't make sense or isn't suitable for what we want. Then the last page to add is the document export page. We choose that, and again, that just allows them to export the page as it is. So probably the only thing to change is to jump back to our standard element. And what I wanna do in here is change the second element type to a text input field editor element. And I'm confirming that I'm changing it, so that's okay. And then we'll put in here, uh, element one and for this one we will make it three lines just to differentiate that it's a different height so that's okay placeholder text for element one so we can see that's all in there and done let's fix up that space because that probably annoyed you when you saw it on the previous screen didn't it, it annoyed me so there we go and jump down to the end and select save. So you can see now we have a bigger panel for them to type in more. So we can ask a question about something or, or present a scenario. We can then ask them a question about that scenario and they fill in some information. Another one, they fill that in. We could also have some information or a picture and the information in there that they need to refer to back up here, or it could be the other way around, put the picture at the top whichever way you want. They then go to the goals page and they type in what their goals are uh, in relation to that content, obviously. Uh, then they go to the ratings where they choose their ratings that suit. And you don't have to use the um, goals and goal ratings thing part of this component. You, don't, you can just have a, a collection of standard pages where they type in their information and then go straight to the export document page. Once they're done, they go to the export page, page and they can export all of the information they've put in there, assuming that they've filled that all in, which I didn't put anything in, so I will now. Put all of that in, create the document, and you can see my text is in there with the names, element one, input one, which you would obviously have as the actual question so that you know what the responses are in relation to. And that's all there is for the documentation tool. I hope that's been useful to you. My name is Chris Richter. Remember this H5P is then embedded into your pages, into your Moodle pages, ready for students to use. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. I'll talk to you again soon in the next video. Don't forget to check out the courses below and I'll talk to you soon.